Man, uh, something else happened a couple of days ago. QCP. He had QCP. A little, yeah. Right. He had a little paperwork leak. But let me say this. Well, what, what, what happened? He, you know, you know the story. What happened? Did Did QCP sell? Um. Yeah, he sold it for like three hundred million. His or couple, yeah, something like that. Yeah, shout out to you know him for that. Now, what you're saying? Because I don't know what, about that. Yeah, he had uh, I think him and his partner was at the mall. Somebody tried to rob him or something. He ended up getting shot and his partner got killed. So he told the police, "Hey man, that's who shot me. That's who killed my partner." On the paperwork just came out. But see, I'm gonna look at it like this. He like me. We now I ain't never. I don't know how he is, but I ain't never heard him on that raw raw stuff. I feel like the street laws really don't apply to him. Well, it it don't. It shouldn't. Because, yeah. I mean, I don't know him as far as him personally mm -hmm. or if he's from the street or if he lived by the code. But, you know, ain't no, ain't, ain't no rap code. So if he built that label and built them artists and sold it for $300 million, um... I can't see no wrong in that because I don't think that he was really a street dude. Now, I don't know if, like I say, those artists turned him out, but mm -hmm. I don't know him. You know, I can't say. But if he lived by the code, he 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 know that don't go like that. And saying that, I'm going to say this because I think you might have missed this. Yeah. This slipped. But just to show you that, you know, I rock with you and I don't condone and snitching at all. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And I had a prime example of something that we saw somebody that me and you almost had disagreements about because I was trying to lay around there and give them some room to explain itself. And you was trying to say, you know, you done saw too much, but we both missed this. Okay. So we was, um, I was watching something on the internet where a dude said that Terrence Williams um, told the people that um, somebody got shot yeah. and where they got shot at. So I was like, well, what is all this other stuff they talking about Terrence Williams for? Mm -hmm. And then um, I saw him say, yeah, my partner got shot. I ran into the police station and told the police. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to say that again. My partner got shot. I ran to the police station and told the police my partner got shot. Now, well, one time in, in Bankstown, uh, I don't know too many people familiar with that, but it's like a hood in Baton Rouge. It's called Banks. Yeah, rest in peace, Tiger, and all the rest of them. Yeah, they had some true steppers from Banks. But anyway, bro, like one time I had did a, a concert at um, UPT, really didn't get too much bread, but I, I, I gained a fan and the lip bra was on me, had me feeling myself like I really did a good job and you know all this, she wanted to bless me. So I ended up taking her back to a crib. She lived in Banks. Yeah. Now we in Banks and you know, we did what we had to do. So I get up, I'm feeling uncomfortable. I'm feeling good because I just smashed the Banks town Chick in banks, you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, and um, I was finna leave, and then unfortunately, some niggas tried to jack me or whatever, whatever. So, I ended up running back inside because, you know, like she tell me, leave the gun in the car, I got churn, boo boo boo, all this other stuff. I go for it. So, but, but anyway, I ain't gonna say she set me up because, you know, I don't know how it went. But anyway, like, I go, um, I run in the closet. Nah, I'm in the closet, bro, like, I got a phone. I could call the people. My mama didn't have no phone. My mama would have had a phone, I might would have called her. But I ain't really know too many people numbers and it was programmed in. But I didn't call nobody, my nigga. Mm -hmm. I laid in the closet waiting to die, waiting for a nigga to come in there and kill me. Because at that point, I was thinking set up for sure. Yeah. I was waiting for a nigga to come kill me. I'm in the closet praying with a, with a phone. It was nothing to go 911. Man, look, woo, 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 woo. man, the cold wouldn't let me do it, bro. Yeah. Like, the cold wouldn't let me do it, man. So, you know, all I'm saying is, bro, you live by the cold, bro, you live by the cold. That's the bottom line. Bro. So, you feel like Gangsta broke the law when he did that? Man, look, I'm going to leave it for 
everybody who checked this out mm -hmm. to answer that they said we're gonna start putting questions on and say well this is a question to y'all listen at what big head said and then y'all tell me what y'all think because the part about that is facts mm -hmm. you feel me ain't no cap or ain't no targeting ain't no creating nothing pushing no narrative that's facts yeah he did say that now, and I ain't trying to take nothing away from him, but if he take it away from himself, that's on him. That's facts, man. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Bird, man. I understand, bro. I, I got I got three brothers, and I barely talk to them. Period. Yeah. You hear me? You know, even though they're in jail, one of them in Detroit, but you know, like I get it, bro. Like when when your brothers do foul stuff, foul, 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 mm -hmm. foul. You know, you, you, you got to just separate yourself from a You got to know the difference between siblings and brothers and sisters. See, it's a difference. You heard me? But see, I feel like this. We're going to get back on top, but let me feel like this. Birdman, Birdman done made billions, man. I feel like Birdman could have messed with his brother from a distance for what he did. Ain't like he told him Birdman. Nah, it's like this here. His brother was going to be straight either way to cut go. He's mm -hmm. still going to be straight. Because that's his brother. Yeah. So and he know that. So he he he's not disassociating himself with his brother. He can't. That's family ties. It's mm -hmm. just that how he moving and his principles and what got him, what got him, like I said, like the situation I just spoke on, like situations like that where you know all this finna come out, you gotta just lay back till it all come out, bro. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta let it all come out and and if 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 Grandma have a family reunion or, or whoever. I can't stop you from coming. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I see you there. If, if my child graduate from school, they got a whole bunch of bleachers. You still supposed to come see your nephew graduate. You know, play your part, your position from over there. It's a different side of the fence. That's all. But, you know, like, bro, like, business is business. Yeah. You know, like, it's the personal part. Now, if they had business, they probably still be doing it, but they don't got none. So it's like this personal. So you know, shout out to um, Birdman, man. Like I, be, I looked up the Birdman from the time I met him. I thought he was from Detroit. That nigga was so smooth, man. That was a long time ago. So you know, I never met the other brother. Yeah. Feel me? But it is what it is. I met the tall. I met Slim. Mm hmm You know. Slim like, be in the cut, man. Yeah, he was in the cut then. Yeah. I went in the cut. <laughs> I, I wanted to meet him just as bad as I wanted to meet Birdman. Shit, I went in the cut. He all he was laid back then. Yeah. But we was all young then. I was just a kid, and they was young men. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Been doing this. Everybody.